Hello Country Mouse Walkers, welcome to North Wales. Corsa Ugamoo. And our walk through words are outdoor lavish squirts. And this is the river at Cobham. And we're at the first is where we're starting from today. And we're going to follow the river up into Snowdonia National Park. And before I start, I just want to show you this pole that's um, on the side of the bridge. Fantastic carvings in there. A little bit of fun that is, I love that. So just at started on our walk um, and I spotted this big oak tree. Beautiful thing. And being so close to the river, I'm sure you can still hear the river in the background. It's covered in all sorts of mosses and lichens. Looks like a squirrel's put some nuts or something in there. I just spotted it from the path. It's got a number. I just think it's such a beautiful view. I love trees like that, and the, like when you think of the history and the stories they could tell. So we've moved up a little bit along our path um, for the first day. I've actually got family, family with me on this bit, so I'm sort of... Uh, And we're leaping across. Um, so we've just come up from the edge of Bethesda. And we're going to follow the river up into Penryn Quarry and then up into a bit further towards Snowdonia. It's not a very long river, it's only about seven miles long. And um it's, um, it starts from the Linogwin. Look how clear that water is. Just up to the point where we're, we're going to have to cross over some main roads, so we'll leave the river for a little bit. Um, so beautiful glimpse of it here. You can see why it's um, known for salmon. Just on our way to rejoin the um, river, I've come across the uh, old quarry hospital that opened in 1825 by Colonel Pennant. It's quite a big hospital when it opened. It had three wards, a surgery, waiting room, and dealt with injured quarrymen as well as visitors to Snowdonia. You can see now it's all fenced off. It's um, fell into disrepair. So we're 
The family's gone off now. They've gone off to do something at the quarry. So, um, my child, go off and record and show you the quarry in another video. So, we're going to take a nice walk together now, following the river. Apparently this river is really good um, for kayaking. I just thought I'd mention that for Deb's from Deb's Most Excellent Adventures. Um, her and her husband love love kayaking, so that's one for you Debs if uh, you haven't done it already. It started raining, so I'm not sure how long. Hopefully, I can film for a bit. I'm waterproof and I'm wrapped up well enough, but I haven't got a volley. And although the, Gro the GoPro is a brilliant bit of kit, unfortunately, I have a media mod on it. And once you put the media mod on it, it's no longer fully waterproof. But we will see how we go. So the area we're in now, as you can tell from the slate, rock is Penryn Quarry and this is actually the old railway line for the quarry. So it's a part of the national cycle path but obviously used by walkers horse drawn, horse drawn sorry, people on horses. <laughs> I'm getting carried away with my history though. Just having visions of horse drawn wagons and things moving along here originally. <laughs> and we're slightly above the river at the minute. But uh, as we move along, the river will come back up to us. Just lovely listening to the sound of the river in the background. So peaceful. Just hope that the uh, rain's not misting up the lens. Um, temperature's pretty much been very similar every day. It's not cold, it's about 18, 19 degrees, which is about 64, 65 Fahrenheit, something like that. You can see we're getting closer to the river now, we can see the ripples. Holiday Park and it looks a bit on the other side. Wow, just look at this. I wouldn't believe that these trees could stand stay standing upright perched on the edge of the rock like that. Look at that, that's amazing. 
the root network to these trees must be must be amazing. Isn't nature wonderful? Yeah. See the stunning rock over there. This area is actually a um, glaciated valley. I think at one time they tried to divert the river of them. It was quite disastrous when they did. And it was allowed to re take its natural path. You see these holiday homes right on the edge. Can you get that look? Some more of those amazingly balanced trees. Where's the steel? More homes are coming up. Lovely little viewpoint here overlooking these miniature falls. Where the Ogwen joins the um, Lin Ogwen or Clean Ogwen, double L. I believe there's a large waterfall there. Hopefully we'll get up there, but if it continues raining like it is, I'm not sure about my camera. Yeah, I can sit and watch water like this all day.
This is the fun bit, making our way up here, because um, it's a bit slippy on the foot. Yeah, the rain's really starting to come down, trying to keep the limbs covered. A bit longer, keep going a bit longer. Maybe a bit of shade under these trees. Top of the uh, little falls and things we could see before. This area is known as Salmon's Leap. I believe we're at Ogwin Bank. Got a close look at that lovely bridge. Beautiful stone bridge. That one. My hand's not getting in the way, I'm trying to protect the lens as much as possible. Even though it's raining, these views are stunning. Absolutely beautiful. And you can see the water running there. Looks like there's a weir up there. Bit of information there about the history of Pennine Quarry and the railway. A little map there to show you where we are. So we uh, come up from Bethesda. And the plan was to follow the river. So I think I've been defeated by the rain. I've come up to where the um, where the weir is. So I've only done about half the river that I wanted to do. I don't film any more with my camera. I don't want to ruin it. My water getting into it. It's getting quite damp. So I want to thank you all for joining me. I think I'm going to knuckle down, pack everything away, but carry on walking myself. Um, hope you've enjoyed looking at the River Ogden. Hope you've enjoyed watching my video. If you have, please check out some of my others and uh, please like, please subscribe and please leave a comment. 
And in the meantime, stay safe, everybody. Take care. Bye.